Hello, I'm Anne from Daisy Florence Design. I'm a textile artist and a weaver and I live in Thornton. I've made a short video for you with the help of my two daughters to show you a little bit about weaving and how you can explore weaving using simple materials that you'll have in your own home. So I'm going to show you several ways of making a bit of weaving today. Um, the first one is using the corrugated card. And you can see on this side I've marked off intervals of about one and a half centimetres and then I've just gone along with scissors and just cut slots into those. And it's those slots that we're going to use to put our thread. So the thread that we're using is nice and strong. So this is going to be our warp thread. So we just put it in the first, first slot and then wrap it around the card like that through each of the slots. Like that. And then we're just going to use some, some tape. So we'll just tape the ends down and cut off the excess. So now we're ready to weave. Another way of weaving um, is to use an old picture frame like we've got here and in the same way that we put the warp on the on the cardboard we're just going to do the same on the picture frame but we're just going to tie the thread onto the frame and then we're simply just going to wrap the thread around So we keep going like that. So this is a picture frame that's had the warp thread put on. That's the long thread going around and you can see at the top there and the bottom I've just used masking tape. You can use tape just to space the threads out. So now we've got our warp threads we then need to find some threads to go through the warp and these are the weft threads and I'm just going to show you quickly with this one we're going to go under the first thread, over the next one, under, over, under, over. Press the threads down to the bottom of the board. We're going to take the other end, come back the other way. So we went under the first thread, so we're going to go over, under, over, under. So we're just doing the opposite to what we've done. And pull it through again. And then just with your fingers, bunch the threads together. So turning the board sometimes helps. So we've gone under that one, so we're going over, under, over, under, and so on. So on this lovely piece here that my daughter created, you can see that we've used some chunky threads. We've also used spaghetti, uncooked spaghetti. The next row there is bubble wrap, strips of bubble wrap, pipe cleaners, corrugated card, packaging from um, biscuits, and what else have we got here? Bits of thread wrapper, I think you can just see there. So that's cut into strips and fabric. So anything that can be cut into strips can go through the weft, so you can have great fun choosing lots of different things. You can also play around with natural things that you find outside or in your garden so you can go for a little walk and collect some things and these are all just soft um, shrubby um, branches so at this time of year they're quite supple that can be woven in and out and that would be a lovely lovely bit of weaving that you can hang outside in your garden. So these ones done on picture frames you could just leave on the frames if you like and just hang them up as they are beautiful features. Whereas the weaving that you've done on your piece of cardboard, you can leave it on the card if you like, or you can turn it over, snip through the warp threads and then take it off the cardboard. Another simple weaving thing you can do is weaving with magazines. So all you need is to choose some nice bright contrasting colours of magazine pages. You need to mark your magazine in one centimetre strips and then just cut strips into the magazine making sure you don't cut all the way through, leave a nice edge at the bottom. And then with some, again, contrasting colours, just some more strips cut. The easiest way to do this is just to lift up every alternate strip. 
So again you're doing the under over, under over, push the paper down to the end and then choose another contrasting page to come back the other way. So again lifting the strips up under over, under over. So what you have at the end of it is a nice design like that and what you can do is flip it over and then just put some sellotape around the edge just to hold it in place and then trim off the edges if you wish. So I hope with the different weaving options that I've shown you it gives you some uh, inspiration to have a go at weaving yourself and I hope you find it as relaxing and as therapeutic as I do.